Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it has been quite some time since I filmed a uh, beauty regimen, which I have changed quite a bit. I feel with age um, and your skin tends to get used to the same routine. So it's good to change it up after some time, at least that's my opinion. And that is what I tend to do. So every morning before I shower, I either exfoliate, I do a mask, or I just do a regular cleansing. I'm gonna show you what I'm getting cleansing. So every day I have been using this Pop Sonic. Um, the front part is for removing um, uh, your makeup, which I use every night and also for just cleansing like in the morning um, and then all you do is clean it with a facial cleanser um, and so I use this after I'm done I clean it real good so it doesn't carry any germs or bacteria because it is silicone the back is for um, helping to blend in your serums your moisturizers I I tend not to use the back um, because I like mine just to kind of absorb on their own, but it was just really a matter of preference. So every morning, again, I start my day off with exfoliation, mask, simple cleansing, and the shower with this. This is completely waterproof. Um, I'll give you more info on that later. Today, I'm going to start off with my Pharmacy New Day. This is a gentle exfoliating grains. And I had a heck of a time finding it. It's sold out everywhere. So I bought it off the pharmacy website itself. You get 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, which is a lot. Um, it says here, innovative facial cleansing grains with the addition of water tra transforms into a gentle foaming exfoliating cream. So you just take the lid off. And you pour about a quarter size amount in your palm. Then you're gonna add just a little bit of water. You don't wanna over add, although you can add more powder if you put too much water in. Then it looks nice and grainy like that. And I wanna wet my skin a little. And just rub. I believe change is good for the skin, especially in different weather, different climates. Um, so I tend to, you know, change up what I use, plus new things come out, and you know, they may have better um, ingredients, properties, claims to them. And then I try them out, they're either better, they're worse, I never use them again. But uh, this one, this one's amazing. This one's truly amazing. Super, super gentle, soft, and uh, just, I absolutely love it. And now I know why it was so hard to find on the internet. Beauty Lister sold out, Sephora, Everywhere I could find it was sold out. So, pharmacy itself had it. So, I got very lucky with that. And then, that is my pre shower um, cleansing. Again, every morning I use something different. Tomorrow I will probably do a mask. Um, so, after I get out, I will show you uh, my serums and my moisturizers. And then um, tonight I will show you using this because I'm not gonna use it for the morning because I just exfoliated, so I am good. So I'm just gonna put this away. It is completely 100% waterproof. You can take it in the shower and clean your face with it in the shower, which I find amazing. I absolutely love, love, love this. So I will see you very soon. All right, everybody, I'm back. I have showered. I feel fresh and clean. 
Um, if you hear that noise, it is my heart event monitor. I have it right here. I have to go in the room and reconnect it. I have to take it off every time I shower. Here are the leads. Uh, yeah, it's great fun. So just <clears throat> kind of ignore that. I'll tell you, I'll be really happy when I get this one off because it's way more of a pain. I have already wiped my face down with a facial radiance pad by First Aid Beauty. Uh, this is a very extra step. You do not have to do it, but it helps exfoliate, tone, and brighten, and it is alcohol-free and safe for sensitive skin. I have that in a Christmas box from last Christmas, not the one in 18, but the one in 17. I'm like, I've got to use this. So I use this toner every day. Uh, I used to use the Kiehl's matching toner to this. I had the real big, big bottle last me over a year. Um, I thought I'd give that fresh rose a try. Uh, my personal opinion, I don't like it very much, but I'm gonna use it up. It takes me a doggone year. The spout gets clogged by these little petals or whatever all the time. It is just annoying, but anyway. So I use my toner when I get out of the shower. Makes me feel so fresh, so clean. Then we move on from there. Let me place these back. Okay. Now I go to the ordinary. I stand by this product. I love everything from the line that I've tried. This is the Argan Lion Solution 10%. Targets the appearance of dynamic facial lines. They have it on Sephora now, I believe, and it is only like $5.90 for a bottle. I go through this bottle like crazy. So I dab a couple drops on my wrinkle lines on my forehead which is where it says to. And then I put a little on my finger and I put it under and around my eye. I have, I believe, a backup bottle because they have run out of this a couple times. I used to get it on Beautylish because Sephora didn't have it yet. Um, but now I will get it on Sephora. I, I gotta make double sure they have that, but I'm sure they do. Then I use the Olay Henriksen Truth Serum Collagen Booster. Um, it is potent vitamin C complex to brighten, smooth, and help the appearance of aging. Boy, don't we all want that. I just dab it in. Any kind of vitamin C for your face is good. It's not have to be the same products. This is just what I use, my, my preference. Um, I will be changing up my vitamin C when I run out of this. I did get this one at Marshall's for like $8.99. It was a great deal. But <clears throat> I'm almost out. I don't know if you can see, but it's to like here. Thinking of getting the Tatcha one. My son got me a gift card for Sephora, and I'm debating. It's a very expensive bottle, but I use my gift card, and it'll be so damaging. Then while that kind of soaks into my skin, I use the Garnier Fructis, if I'm saying that right, Sleek and Shine Smooth Leave-In Conditioner. I use this in my hair and I use pure coconut oil later on after I am done with my makeup. I do my coconut oil. My hair becomes a little bit dry by then. And the coconut oil <clears throat> kind of freshens it, revives it. So, here's the coconut oil, yet again. Sorry if there's hair on it, because my hair falls out like insanely crazy. Thank God I have a lot of it for now. I'm trying to keep it that way. It gets tangled, but uh, it'll just come out in my globs in the shower. My thyroid is bad. So, <clears throat> my brush, 
my wet brush. This is those brushes that are supposed to just brush right through your hair. And this one actually does a pretty good job. I can't complain. We got this at Sam's Club and it's set. And I am pleasantly happy with it. Goes right through. I hear you. I definitely hear you. So I work today. I think I'm going to get home a little bit late tonight. So I don't know if I'll be able to uh, show you my night regiment tonight. I might do it tomorrow night when I'm not getting home so late. Because at that point when I get home, I just want to rip my makeup off. Although I still take every step, I'll probably be too tired to actually film. Now I go in with my Glam Glow Star Potion Liquid Charcoal Clarifying Oil. And I do like this. Beware, if you drop any on your shirt and you're not wearing black like me, it will stain. It will stain on a very high level. This stuff, once you put it on, it is very liquidy and on the move. So you want to get it rubbed in as quick as possible. I've been using this now for a few months and I absolutely love it. It moisturizes my skin so, so nice and it brightens. I just, I love it. Got to get under that chin, man. Under that chin. So, there's one last step, which is my long comb multi glow. This is my uh, moisturizer for the morning. I am almost out, which I love this, but I'm really happy I'm almost out because I have the pharmacy moisturizer. I've been waiting, wait, waiting to try. I'm gonna let this absorb and then I will put that on. All right, so now I'm going to be putting on my long comb. Renagerie, I can't say it. Multi Glow Cream Rose Revitalize the Clot Rosy Skin Tone Reviving Cream. Uh, so I got this in my um, glossy box for Mother's Day last year. It's lasted me that long, which is amazing. I canceled glossy box. So I was just not happy with a couple of the boxes and we stretch her out, sometimes less than that, but yeah, so I get enough. I got Boxy Charm and uh, Fab Fit Fun, and that is plenty. So, this is my moisturizer. I'm gonna get under the chin and go up. Always get that little flabby chin going up. Um, so, that is pretty much it for my morning routine. I will go on and put like a lip balm on. I use the um, the Coco Me sticks sometimes to remove my makeup. Um, I know I showed this before. I use it on the back of my hands, and then the lip balms I have in my beauty room, and I like to use those to moisturize my lips all the time. So these are very handy um, and um, easy to throw in the bag for travel. But I will be showing you my nighttime routine. I was not, definitely not it for my hair, but <clears throat> for my morning routine for my skincare until I get in my beauty room. That is it. Uh, I will see you soon for the nighttime routine. Hey everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it is another day um, because the other day I had to work super late. But this is the removal and my nighttime beauty regimen which I do shift around. This is not always identical, but it's pretty much similar. So I've been using the Green Cream Pharmacy. I know it's dirty um, to remove my makeup. I was using the cocoa stick, but it doesn't go well with my Pop Sonic because it is very, very oily. I just get my Pop Sonic a little bit wet. And then I take some of the green cream and I rub it. I'm gonna need it 
more of this. I'm a red and blue. I look like a green monster. It's horrible. So then I rub this in. Take my Pop Sonic. You just press the middle button. You can go up or lower, but I just leave it right where it is. And then it, if you hear it, it will go off when you're supposed to move it into a different area. And it has the corner edge to get right up underneath your eye. This, I find, works phenomenal. My skin is so much softer, so much cleaner now that I've been using this. And I usually leave the water running. I just don't want you guys not to be able to hear me to rinse it as I go. This green clean stuff's amazing. And even use it on my lid. It is that soft. You can hear it shut off. It pauses in between so you can you know when to move it now i kind of went in all the areas so i'm just kind of cleaning it up the room i always do it in my neck because I put foundation on under my neck. That is my flipping heart thingy. <laughs> that monitor so annoying when it goes off. Okay. Now I'm gonna rinse. I always have a soft towel on hand. This is a makeup eraser towel. Okay, then I have this Tatcha Deep Cleanser, and this is a little, um, I think it was 100 points at Sephora, so I got three of them. I think this is empty. There's a deep cleanse, so I use this next. I'm going to see what I can get left out of this one. I don't know why I'm trying. Oh, I got some, because I'm sucking them dry, because so I'm running low. I might have to purchase the full size because this is really good stuff. Okay. So you just dab in your forehead, cheeks, just a little bit of water. And then this is a really super gentle exfoliator. I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh. I know Tatcha is so expensive, but so, so good. And just gently exfoliate for a minute and then rinse. One rinse. Between the Pop Sonic and the the uh, Tatcha Deep Deep Cleanse, I can't even talk straight. Um, 
I notice my skin is like really super, super soft. And I can't tell you which one's done it, but I don't know. I might, again, I might have to invest in a bigger one when I run out. Now is my, um, my cleansing water. I'm using beauty water from Sephora. So I use the fresh one in the morning and then I use this one at night. It's amazing how much dirt is still left. This is why I take so many steps to clean my face because as many steps as I take to put on the makeup, you need to take to make sure you take it off. So there's that. And then to clean this little guy, I just take my, my, um, it's called the Lazy and Easy Cleanser. I love the name of it. And run that under the water. I do not use this to put on my moisturizer or serums at night, or in the morning for that matter. Um, I just use it to clean my face. So that is that. It's done, clean, sanitized, good to go. Okay, and now I'm going to put these away. Okay, now I am not on camera right now. You see my shower doors. So back to the ordinary. At night, I use a Argoline solution again for around my eye. Just like a drop. And then I use the niacinamide I'm saying it wrong, I know it. 10% and zinc 1%. Again, these are like seven bucks. Super affordable. And I use this little drop all over. I've been using these two same ones since I think my first beauty video, which I will link below and you will see that. So that has stayed the same. Now while my serums absorb in my skin, I'm going to exfoliate my lips. I have the Sarah Hap Lip Scrub in Coconut. I don't exfoliate my lips every night. Um, I don't feel they need it every night. But when they're feeling a little dry, and I've used a lot of mats, then I, I use them. Well, it tastes good. I do not eat the rest. This is for the little gets in your mouth. At least it's tasty. Okay. And then I have the Sarah Hat Lip Slip. And it smells really good. I have a lot of different lip balms. I have the Tatcha one, the Gold Spun. I love that one. The one the Lavish Sleep Mask is phenomenal. It smells so so good too okay so we're going to go back and finish now i'm going to moisturize using my pharmacy do it all for my eyes which i showed you in the morning as well like a little scoop to be able to scoop it out of the jar because otherwise it's all up in my finger now. I 
I like to just dab it on. And then at night, I change it up. I either use this avocado sleeping mask or Saturday Skin Moisturizer. Um, I am almost out of this. It is phenomenal. Um, but I will be using my Pharmacy Moisturizer next, so I'm super excited for that. So I use my sleep mask about three times a week, probably. This much here. It's water. Yeah, don't get that on the floor. Go throw it away. All right, go throw it away. And you just take the little scoop like that. And I don't even need that much. This is too much. Oh, we're doing it. I know. You know. Shut the door, Mushkin. Because I'm filming. And Papa's sleeping. And this, you want to dab in your skin. Not rub. So I'm just dabbing it in. Can you shut the door? Can you shut the door, Dylan? I'm recording. You just dab it. I always do my my neck, my chin, I want to keep it going upward. We don't want it hanging down. And that is it. That is it. So let me know in the comment section below what you think of my day and night uh, beauty routine. It may be a little overboard for some of you. Maybe some of you do more than me. But we are all different. All of our skin types are different. I am aging and I would like to keep mine as youthful as possible. And this is just what I have come to do. Now, it changes. Not always identical, but this is just what I am doing and have been doing for quite a while. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you give me a thumbs up, I will see you soon. Bye.